Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to deal with these repeating and non-terminating decimals as you can see in these two questions. And here, the first question, we can see that these numbers are non-ending. Non-terminating means they go on and on and moreover, they are repeating themselves as you can see. Over here, same thing. They are non-ending and they are repeating themselves. So let's go ahead and get started. And in this very first question, we are going to take the square root of this decimal 0 0.444 on and on. It goes on. And now this number, the radicand inside this square root, this could be written as if we put a 0 0.4 bar on the top of this four as you can see and moreover this number looks a lot more simpler therefore whenever you see a repeating and non-terminating decimal like this one you just simply write in terms this bar like a 0 0.4 bar let me give you a few more examples. When we have a, like a, this one, 0 0.33 on and on, we can just simply write a bar on the top of three. And in this next example, two digit number is repeating itself. Like over here, 27, 27, 27 goes on and on. No wonder I put down bar on the whole 27, whichever repeating itself. And one more example, when we are dealing with three digit number, when we have a seven, eight, six, it is repeating on and on, non-ending. No wonder I put down seven, eight, six, and I put a bar on all these three digits. So therefore, this complicated looking number could be written as in this simple form. And now this number could be written as this 0 0.4 bar could be written as a fraction as a 4 divided by 9. Always remember you divide it by 9. Let me give you a couple of more examples. In this case, the bar is on two digits, 2, 7. No wonder I just wrote down 27 divided by 2 nines. And likewise, if our bar is on three digits, as you can see, 786, this time we are going to put three nines. So therefore, our this number could be written as square root of four divided by nine, as you can see from here. And that in turn could be written as a two divided by three. And here I have just shown you this process. And we know that two divided by three is always equal to 0 0.6666 goes on and on. Or we could write this one simply with a 0 0.6 and bar on the top. Let me show you one more method so we can write this two third, which I have copied down over here in terms of this 0 0.6 bar. And here we have a two third. And here if I multiply and divide by three at the same time, this could be written as on the top is going to become six divided by nine isn't it and we know six dividing by nine is same according to this definition over here could be written as 0 0.6 bar isn't it so thus our answer could be written as 0 0.666 goes on and on or simply 0 0.6 and bar on the top and here's our next question, 0 0.333 goes on and on, and then we are going to square it. So therefore, this non-terminating, this repeating numbers could be written as simply 0 0.3 with a bar on the top. So therefore, we can write this number as over here, 
much simpler, isn't it? So therefore I can write this one, three divided by nine and then square according to this definition. And this could be written as three over nine could be written as one over three and then I can write one over three and then square it and which could be written as one over nine and here's the justification I gave you. And now by this definition, this one could be written as 0 0.1 and the bar on the top according to this definition or this could simply be written as 0 0.1111 goes on and on. And here's our final answer which you can write as 0 0.1. 111 one, all the way or simply 0 0.1 with the bar on the top. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.